It's Karen from Sustainably Chic, bringing to you all things both fabulous and thrifty in the world of sustainable living. Good morning, it's Sunday. And on Sunday, or on the weekends rather, I do a lot of uh, large preparations for the week. And so I just wanted to share with you um, how I make sure that our breakfast is kind of quote unquote diversified um, for the upcoming week. This Sunday, I'm making a large batch of waffles and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and I do this so that my family has options and it's like our version of the Eggo waffle. So once I make them, um, some will eat today, the others I'll freeze and I'll put, uh, I'll show you the process of that. And, um, and then they're able to pull them out during the week, throw them in the toaster, and go on about their business. And today, I'm making sweet potato waffles uh, with a little, because of the season, a little nutmeg, cinnamon. So let's get into it. So I'll begin by washing my sweet potatoes, then placing them into the Le Creuset uh, 10 quart pot. Um, this way I don't have to worry about the water boiling out before the sweet potatoes are actually fully cooked. I have five cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. I have one cup of sugar, two pinches of salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I'm going to use a teaspoon of vanilla and one cup of canola oil. So here I have my sweet potato. I'm adding the one cup of canola oil. Oh my goodness, my daughter walked right behind me. That's my other college student. So I'm gonna add the sugar. Also, by the way, just so you know, I added ginger right there into the bowl with the nutmeg and cinnamon, probably about two teaspoons. There's the salt, as well as the, oh, and I added chopped walnuts as well. I just used my mortar and pestle and, and uh, beat it to a pulp in the back. Yes, and I'm gonna add, um, uh, probably about a teaspoon of vanilla not quite sure that's one of those uh, just um, eyeball it uh, methods unfortunately so here I'm just mixing everything together um, just to get it nice and I wanted to cream it together before I add the flour um, and as you'll see in a moment I'm going to oh and I forgot to show you over there in the corner as you can see I have um, four cups of water and I'm going to add the four cups of water um, I'm going to alternate between adding um, the flour mixture with the baking powder and then adding my water you can either use four cups of water or four cups of milk um, and just mix make sure that you mix it really good because you really want it to get um, to not necessarily a pourable consistency but one where you lift up your spoon and it um, you know it comes away pretty easy that you can get it into your waffle maker and then as I said before I'm just alternating between the two um, until I have all of it mixed in and this way it doesn't get lumpy and um, and uh, yeah, here we go. So this is pretty smooth. And now we're moving to the waffle iron. And I'm sure most people have a waffle iron, so you'll probably know what to do here. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is our finished product and that we'll eat this morning. Um, and then the rest of them, I'll show you what I do to uh, get them ready for the rest of the week. So, now that they're all done and they cooled off a little bit, well, quite a bit, I take a Ziploc bag and just for, um, just for notes, we are 
living sustainably, not zero waste. So occasionally you will see me use Ziploc bags because that's what's affordable for us right now. And as we, I guess, find things that are affordable that can replace like the Ziploc bag, then we'll move towards that. But for right now, that's what we use. So if you're looking for zero waste, this might not be the channel for you. But so, and also we do reuse our Ziploc bags. So we do use them more than, we use them as many times as we can, especially when we're just using them for freezer items. Um, so I just take, um, generally I take two of them, unless I have an uneven number, but today it looks as though I have, um, it looks as though I have an even number. So I just take two into the Ziploc bag, rinse and repeat. So it looks like I'm gonna have six bags um, of two uh, for the week. Now, um, this is all of the, left, the leftover waffles. We have my husband who is still working, he, I mean, well, he leaves the house. Uh, I've been working from home, and, but we have a house filled with college students. So um, it's kind of a toss up as to who will get to them first, but hey, I did, hey, I did my part. So um, this is what I do to prepare for the week. Um, hopefully this helps somebody out there um, and it makes things a lot simpler uh, if you have things to choose from so no one has to go in and cook anything or make a huge mess or especially when your house is filled with lots of people like mine. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave, leave your comments below how you prepare for the week or if you prepare for the week. Um, also, oh, note to, uh, just one other note. As you can see in the recipe, I did not use any eggs or any dairy products. So if you are vegan, um, this will be a great recipe for you. Um, but it's, it, it's not gluten free because I did use all purpose flour and whole wheat pastry flour. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time. Bye.